All right, so we were talking about cancer and um, types of cancers. So again, if you hear the word oma, okay, the um, suffix oma, usually it's cancer. Carcinoma, cancer of tissues that line or cover the body. Sarcoma, sarcomere, we're talking about muscle, muscle cancer, connective tissue. Lymphoma, lymph system. Myeloma, from plasma cells. Leukemia, cancer of blood, blood forming tissues. Malignant melanoma, aggressive form of skin cancer. So those are just some examples of cancer. So it's really which cells of the body are having that abnormal growth causing cancer, okay? Um, I think we've talked about skin cancer before, but we did it really quickly. Here's an example of a skin cancer, okay? Most skin cancers, most, are very treatable. They grow really slow, so not a big deal. Here's an exception. This is melanoma, so it's the moles. It's skin cancer of the melanocytes, the mole cells. People, melanoma is incredibly aggressive. Here it says malignant melanoma, and melanoma, excuse me, an especially aggressive form of skin cancer. Okay. There's the A, B, C, D, and they added E rule. So what, what's nice, nice, you can never say cancer and nice, but what's nice about skin cancer is it's on the skin so you can see it, right? Early detection, number, number, number one key, okay? So what are some of the signs, right, that it might be skin cancer? Um, so the A, B, C, D, E rule, okay? A, asymmetry. If the mole is not nice and round, nice and symmetrical, it's like asymmetrical, that might be a sign where one side does not match the other. Border irregularity, here's the border. See how it's not nice and smooth? That might be a sign that it's cancerous. C, color changes. Great example of funky colors here. That might be a sign of cancer. D, diameter, where the size is more than six millimeters, about the size of a pea. So if it's growing fast, has you know these other signs, it might not be good. And lastly, E, evolving, where the appearance is changing in size, shape, color. So this, this is a melanoma, okay? These are possible signs. So if you're worried, you can go to a dermatologist, yeah? Dermatologists, they are doctors that specialize in skin. And so they'll look at it, um, they might wanna watch it, or they might wanna do a biopsy where they take a part of it out, or they might just wanna get rid of it, okay? Early detection, Number one. Number two, cut, remove, get rid of that cancer. So common types of cancers that we see in people, skin, lung, remember lung cancer, smoking, huge reason for it, not good. Colorectal, now we actually have um, tests. I know this sounds gross. Um, after 50, uh, you can send in a stool sample, so it's poop, that's what we're talking about and um, they'll analyze it to look for any abnormalities or they can do a scope to look for any growths, etc. You know, most people don't wanna talk about it, but again, if it is uh, found or detected early, then the likelihood of survival are really good, okay? Oral cancer, oh my gosh, who would want that, right? Um, sometimes going to the dentist, they might check, see how everything's going, etc. With men, prostate, testicular cancer. With women, breast, ovarian, cervical, uterine. So these are common types of cancer. Of course, cancer can arise in different places. Like there, sometimes people have brain cancer. Uh, there's all kinds. Okay. So how do we treat cancer? Surgery, right? Cut that sucker out. Cut those bad cells out. Uh, surgery offers the greatest chance for cure, especially if performed before the cancer has metastasized. So cutting those cells out before they have spread. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, they're toxins, okay? It's poison. And the point of it is to target the rapidly growing cells. So drugs to kill the cancer cells. Radiation uses high energy subatomic particles to kill cancer cells, damage their DNA so they can no longer reproduce. 
Targeted therapy uses drugs, substances that precisely locate cancer cells, and immunotherapy stimulates the patient's immune system. Um, all of these are treatment. Again, early detection, best prevention. Um, again, um, the Ken Burns documentary is truly, truly amazing. Watch it. I know it's long. I know it can be sad. It's especially sad in the beginning because they start with a cancer that's just dealing with um, kids, right? So pediatrics. And it's really like heart wrenching. But they look at the guy who developed chemotherapy. So how did chemotherapy come about? Then again, they look at the history. They look at current, what, what we're doing, and they look at the future. So immunotherapy, teaching our immune system to fight the cancer cells. Really, really good stuff. All right. So change yourself, change your world. What can you do? And truly, these things will just help you have quality life and will help you be strong, will help your immune system, will help you be healthy, right? So don't smoke. Remember the carcinogens found in smoke. If you choose to drink, go easy. Don't drink a lot, okay? Try not to gain weight. Try not to be overweight. Pile your plate with plants, so fruits and veggies. Decrease your sodium intake. Sodium, that can contribute to high blood pressure. So if we decrease our sodium, we're not holding on to that water, we're decreasing high blood pressure. That's for your cardiovascular system. Eat yogurt. Yogurt is really good for the digestive system. Limit your exposure to pesticides. Pesticides, um, herbicides, um, they are chemicals and they can be cancer causing. They might have cancer causing chemicals. Exercise. Exercise is so good for you. So good for your, um, your bones, your muscles, your cardiovascular system. Sleep. Remember, that's where you're resting and you're repairing your damage and all the good stuff that happens because of sleep. Managing your emotions, sadness, anger, um, hormones that are released and how they affect the body, right? I think we're learning a lot about this. Reducing environmental risks, so where you work, where you live, you don't want to be next to radiation. You don't want to be next to chemicals that can cause um, mutations. Know your history because if you're carrying those cancer-causing um, genes or inheriting them, then you should know that. So that way you're more careful. Okay, so you might have to get more screening just in case. Okay, and then getting screened. All right, you guys, uh, this ends this chapter. This was a really big chapter, really important chapter. Hope you guys are all well and uh, talk to you later.